The overcurrent test module is used for the automatic testing of directional and non-directional overcurrent relays with auto-assessment of the trip time characteristic and directional boundaries of the current stages. This module supports directional sector definition and any number of line, ground, positive, negative, and zero sequence elements. The overcurrent module also allows for the testing of the pickup and drop-off values and reset ratio. As we are using this module to test the trip time of the overcurrent protection function, we can proceed to create a new folder called trip times in our OCC file. After inserting the module in the folder, we first need to check the test object according to Omicron's Ohm's law. Since this is a dedicated module for overcurrent relays, a new specific block appears in the text object's menu. This new block stores the necessary data about the relay's overcurrent protection function and must be completed. There are two tabs, the first one for general settings and the second for defining the trip time characteristic. In the Relay Parameters tab, you can select the directional behavior of the relay under test. When directional is selected, the options for VT and CT connections are enabled. The VT can be installed before or after the circuit breaker. Select At Protected Object when the VT is installed after the circuit breaker. Select Not At Protected Object when the VT is installed before the circuit breaker. The same theory applies for the CT connection. Select To Protected Object when the CT start point is connected on the line side. This means that the currents generated by the CMC test set are in phase with the currents that the primary network would have. Select From Protected Object when the CT start point is connected in the busbar side. In this case, the currents generated by the CMC have a 180 degree phase shift compared to the currents that the primary network would have. Enter the current and time tolerances according to the relay's manual. These tolerances can be defined as either absolute or relative values. Relative is a percentage of the setting value. Absolute is a constant value that is defined as a multiple of the reference current. The reference current is linked to the nominal current by default. The Elements tab is used to define the tripping elements of the relay. Test Universe supports different element types, phase, residual, positive sequence, negative sequence, or zero sequence. Each element type can integrate several tripping elements. Add the element type of your choice and configure the settings on the Define Element Characteristic tab. Click on the Browse button to get access to a list of standard predefined and user-defined characteristics. Among others, you can use Define Time or Inverse Characteristics and adjust the parameters at your convenience. The characteristic to be tested can be restricted in the Range Limits section. Testing characteristics with a minimum tripping time is a typical application example for this feature. It is also possible to define definite or inverse time reset curves to test a relay with a reset characteristic. If the relay behavior has been set to directional in the Relay Parameters tab, a new tab will be displayed to enter the corresponding data. The trip sector can be defined by its start and end angle or by its direction and sector opening. The blinder can be used to cut a part of the trip sector. A compiling graphic including all the elements and the directional behavior is displayed in the View Resulting Characteristic tab. To keep all these concepts in mind, we will proceed by configuring the overcurrent block according to the relay we are testing in the OCC file, that is, a non-directional relay with two definite time elements. First, we set the behavior to non-directional and we enter the corresponding tolerances of time and current. In the second tab, we choose a phase element type from the drop-down menu and we add two elements. Then, we browse and search for definite time characteristics. The values for the pickup and trip time can be entered for each element.
The first element trips at 1.8 amps with a time delay of 500 milliseconds. The second element trips at 6 amps with a time delay of 100 milliseconds. No range limits or reset characteristics are specified. Finally, we check if the data we have entered matches the resulting characteristic.